Jury selection in Brunswick, Georgia, inching along yeah. in the murder trial of three men charged with killing Ahmad Arbery. Yeah, that's right. So there's a lot of math here to talk about. 32 potential jurors have qualified so far. So far, they need 64 to advance to the next stage. So we're halfway there right now. So then the court has to narrow it down to 12 jurors and four alternates. Kaylee Tracy has the latest from Brunswick. One defense attorney said in court today he's optimistic that by the end of this week they'll be where they need to be to be able to choose those 12 jurors and four alternates court today jury selection today on the sixth day it did not start until around 10 15 though that was after the judge heard two motions from the defense the judge denied William Roddy Bryan's attorney Kevin Goff's motion to restrict access to public demonstrations on the courthouse grounds and surrounding streets, saying demonstrations could influence potential jurors. Goff specifically brought up the Transformative Justice Coalition, a group that has been demonstrating outside the courthouse throughout jury selection. More than a dozen potential jurors today said they have formed an opinion about the defendant's guilt or innocence. At least nine no key players in the case, two knew Arbery himself. Arbery family attorney Lee Merritt says he thinks it's possible to find an impartial jury here in Glen County, but says it won't be easy. It's going to be difficult to find an impartial jury. Is it impossible? No. Um, one of the things that I highlighted was the jurors are going to have to set some of their biases aside and say that I can, in fact, be fair. Uh, that's an acknowledgement that this is not the ideal situation where jurors come in as clean slates with no opinion on the evidence. Uh, in this case, most people are familiar with the facts, have established a position, and they will have to set those aside in order to be fair. I believe the people of Glen County will be able to do that, uh, but it's not idea. Goff also targeted Merritt in his argument this morning with that motion. He said that some of Merritt's social media posts and some interviews he has done could influence potential jurors. Merritt responded saying that he understands Goff has a job to do to protect his client, defend his client, but he says he has not influenced potential jurors and does not plan to. Reporting in Brunswick, Kaylee Tracy. Be sure to stay with 11 Alive for the latest on this trial. We're going to be posting all the important updates from the courtroom online and we'll bring you all the highlights on air. You can also sign up for alerts through the 11 Alive app.